What's up guys? This is Mike from Jersey Connect and today we have a new video. The new season is right around the corner, pretty much next month. So a couple weeks ago I just did a video about the 90s version throwback jerseys that the New Jersey Nets are going to rock this season. And so you know what that means. No. We got new fake jerseys popping up out of the woodworks. New ones. We have the real one back here. I could be flimsy with this one. I found this jersey for 90 bucks on Mercari. 90! This is almost retail price. And so what I did was I asked the seller, I was like, hey, is it authentic? Is it a genuine Nike product? And man, all I got was all this BS telling me this was a genuine product. This is an authentic Nike. This is this. Look at the tags. Look at all this. Look at the quality. I was like, oh. Man. And then the seller slipped up and said, this was a genuine replica. Caught him. <laughs> kind of slipped up there. I gave him a hard time. And what happened is I talked it down. I said, dude, it's fake. I know it's fake. And I ended up buying it off him for 30 bucks so I could do this video. So from 90 to 30, you, that's how you know something super sketchy. I just caught him in the lie and he gave up the charade. He was like, oh, I'll sell it to you, 30 bucks. Got him. <laughs> so in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare side by side these fake products and compare them with the legit genuine Nike products just so you can avoid buying these fake ones online for ridiculous amounts of money. If you find this video helpful, drop us a like. So this will help the YouTube algorithm put our video out there just so we can help other people as well avoid these mistakes. These are starting to get ridiculous. Let's go ahead and take a look at the jerseys. I hate these things. On the left side, we have the Nike Swingman jersey, which is a legit genuine product. On the right, we have the fake jersey. Looking at that light dark pattern, uh, the fake jersey has totally lighter shades. Uh, you can see on the Swingman jersey, it's darker. So the colors are not matching up. And then when you look at the Irving lettering, you can see it's spaced out on the Nike Swingman jersey and on the fake jersey it's kind of all crowded together so just be on the lookout for that and then man they made that a little too big the 11 on the fake so little details like that just to look for and then let's go ahead and take a closer look so right here I went ahead and adjusted the jerseys to sit side by side so we could just take a closer look just looking at the collars, the swingman on the left, it's very precise on the red to white ratio. I know it's a little detail, but I'm nitpicking. I mean, most people probably won't even see that, but it's a little thicker on the red side on the fake one. Then we're going to go ahead and take a look at the NBA logo. So it's stitched here. This one's heat pressed. And this is how an NBA logo is supposed to look like. Look at Jerry West, very proportioned. Look at this over here. He loses his ankles. He has like ballerina feet here. It looks terrible. There's some little spacing error here as well. You can see the A is kind of way too far. The colors on the Hardwood Classic versions, they're going to have navy blue and like a darker red, like a maroon type. Um, the fake one has not lived up to the details or caught up to the details. It still has that blue and red and it's just printed on. Um, then we go down to the lettering. So heat pressed here. We got the fakes with the stitching. But you can see the outline here. It's navy blue. It's like a dark navy blue. The fake one has black outlining. So it's a major difference in coloring. And I mean, the red's a little brighter here. Uh, I'm fine with the red. It kind of looks the same. But the lettering, the outline, I mean, it's totally different. Look at the one. Got that loose thread here. Yeah. And then we'll go on to the side panel. And then we have the side panels. So just looking at it, the side panels, you can see that red like stripe. The swingman here, it's like an inch. And then on the fake, you got like, 
I don't know, half an inch, less than that. It's just a lot smaller. So big difference, the fake are missing all the details. Then we have it side by side. Swingman on the left and on the right, the fake. That Nike symbol looks out of place on the fake, but you could really see the color difference here. All right, let's take a closer look. All right, like I was mentioning earlier, the Nike swish on this side right here on the fake, it is out of place. I mean, that was bad. That's the things with the fake jerseys, depending on the manufacturer, they could get really sloppy. I mean, look at this right here. Nike swoosh, heat press, swingmen are always heat pressed. All standardized sizing. I mean, look at that. It looks like a thin Nike logo. But we'll go right here. We got this. If you ever see this online, on one of the jerseys you're gonna buy, automatic fake right here. It should never look like this. I mean, we look over here. That's how it's supposed to look like. I know some fakes will not have this, but things like this, this, this is automatic, and I see this online all the time. Then we look at the Nets. The logo looks good, actually. They actually did a better job on this side. But what gives it away is the stitching and the black outline here. So when we go side by side, we got the fake right here, swing man here, the polyester, just looking at the way the polyester looks, like the mesh holes, they actually do a good job of making it look the same. But if you're ever in person and buying a jersey, these things are super thin. The fake ones are super thin. You can tell there's a lot more work and craftsmanship put into this uh, jersey here. It's a lot thicker compared to the fake ones. So I know it's hard to tell online, but if you're buying it in person, it shouldn't be like super thin. Let's go ahead and look at the tags. So the fake ones right here, NBA Authentic, that's a lie. Does not have Nike dry fit, nope. Real detailed on the Nike Swingman dry fit. Has a retail barcode, standard fit, NBA store, the Hardwood Classic Knights. So they, got all the wrong tags on this side so we're taking a look at the jock tag down below on the bottom right of each jersey they are both size medium the fakes use the wrong numbering system 48 that's not it 44 is a medium and then they changed it up they used to have that nike connect nfc chip there they got rid of it i believe this year well it looks like they are but they just have that nike um nike swoosh the old ones still have it they are lagging they still got nike connect on there and just looking at the font and just the finish of the tag it doesn't look clean just look at that right here the difference swingman nba authentics it just looks uh you guys know what i mean <laughs> but the thing is that they took out those NFC chips. Usually on legit products, you can see there's a chip here. Since they took it away, I think this would be probably easier to emulate in the future. So if they get the tags um, to match up, it's going to be harder to tell for a fake jersey. So you got to look at all the other details. If they ever catch up and you know make the tags look the same, this is going to be... A huge indicator of finding a fake jersey if you turn it inside out so the swingman jersey since it's heat pressed they don't have all that um, cardboard material paper material in here so it's really clean finish and then when we go to the fake you can see you got that thing you got all the paper I mean it just looks messy and then on genuine Nike, Adidas, Champion products, things like that. They always have these wash tags in the inside. So you can see here, oh shoot, right here. Guatemala has all the washing information. 
So this is a legit Nike product. In the fake jerseys, they do not do that little detail. These things will drive up the price if they try to keep up with all the little details. So if you see a jersey online that you like and you're skeptical and thinking, oh, I don't know if it's fake or not, ask a seller, like, hey, can you take a picture of the inside of the jersey? And it's never wrong to ask questions. I mean, you're trying to protect yourself. This is your money that you're spending. And if they show the pictures and it looks like this, you got yourself an issue. They're trying to sell you a fake jersey. Um, so just be careful. So if you found this video helpful or insightful, drop us a like or hit subscribe. We're going to do a lot, of, a lot more jersey content. At Jersey Connect, we basically recreate high school jerseys but also we find vintage we're like vintage jersey treasure hunters we only sell legit genuine branded products and so we're trying to combat the fake stuff and um yeah thank you guys for watching we appreciate it